Thank you for joining us for one of Waterman Unlimited's instructional videos. So today we're going to talk about a drift boat rowing technique that will really enable you to safely traverse bends and sharp curves in a river. All right, so here is our example river and, uh, of course, uh, our drift boat. So a few things to keep in mind. Uh, first, our water and our drift boat are uh, both heading this way. Um, so next we want to take a look at this bend uh, a bit more closely. Uh, and then we're going to talk specifically about what the water is doing. So here, all of the water is traveling at roughly the same velocity towards the bend. So as this curve initiates along the left bank, the water on the outside begins to speed up. We're going to use this fast, strong current to our advantage. So, how best to handle this in a drift boat? The natural inclination is to try and ride the wave. Get in there and turn your boat with the momentum using the oars, then power through. This has several distinct disadvantages. First, it doesn't allow you adequate time to react to unknown obstacles. In this example, you can see that rock coming, but what if it was behind the bend? Second, you're exerting a lot more effort than needed. Lastly, and most importantly, if you can't power through it, all of this water right here is hitting your boat broadside and pushing you into the bank. So here's the right way. Point the bow of your drift boat to the opposite bank. Approach slowly. Typically, you'll need to back paddle a few times to adjust for the current. As you get closer to the bank, back paddle hard, nearly to a complete stop. Here, the water will begin turning and a stronger current will catch the front of your boat. As the water catches your boat, it will begin to pull you through the curve. And here you'll want to forward or back paddle as needed to control your trajectory. A lot of this feels remarkably counterintuitive, but it works and it is undoubtedly the best way to handle a curve in a drift boat. A few things to keep in mind. First, while these videos are great instruction, there's no better method to learning than practice. So please make sure to try this technique out in local waters before gallivanting off to the Alaskan backcountry. Lastly, make sure to check out more from the Waterman at watermanunlimited.com. Thanks for listening. Created using Powtoon.